takes nine. Eight, six, nine. Today we're going to make one of these. To assemble this, we need two printed parts, which is in PLA. You can also use other filaments to reinforce it a little better, but like the CF ABS I tried here. But since my printer was not deciding to make it really flat, I turned back to PLA, which is fine in my opinion. It is rigid. It won't have any leakage on the left or right side. So the parts that other parts that we're going to need are the voltage upper. So this gets the voltage 3.7 volts and makes it a 400 kilovolt output. And also we need a battery holder, which is for 18650 battery. So just plus and minus. We also need one of these and also an 18650, of course, preferably a VTC6. And we need a momentary button we also need one of these on off switches and also we need a usb charger which is a type c for 18650 and also four inset brass they look like these and we need rectangular uh, m3 bolt holder we need six m3 bolts four of them for my preference are black going to get onto the outside of the a printed part which will look sleeker and I have also two metal bits and I'll tell you later why we need the regular non-painted uh, M3 bolts. So these are all the parts that we need for the assembly of this taser. What are we going to use to assemble it? We need a soldering pen. We also need some flux, paste flux. You can get any type you like. We need some solder. We need electrical wires, different colors preferably. So let's start with the assembly. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com, the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards. Tell us what you need, then let us design and manufacture your PCBs to the highest level. Low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just $5. Get an instant quote and join our online community at PCBWay.com. So now we're going to install the brass insets what you need for this is a soldering iron and you have i preferably use 300 degrees celsius on it and push it gently in as you can see in the video you don't have to force it if you force it it's not going to go well you have to slide it in and until it's flush with the 3d printed parts so we have four of them the third one is done now the fourth one just gently pushing it in letting it heat up and then pushing it in. As you can see, it's flush with the 3D printed parts. Now here we have to solder all the corresponding wires as I'm going to show you guys the schematic for this assembly of this USB. Once it's all finished, we have to put it all inside of the 3D printed case. So here I'm going to try to walk you guys through all the steps we have to do in order to fit it inside of the case. And we're going to check which module goes where and how to fit it together. Well, here we have the type C module for battery charging that has to be soldered onto the corresponding places through the electronical wire. So from another angle, we see here that the cable of the stepper up module buck converted goes to the type C connectors, which is a B plus. So you make sure you solder them together and also make all the rest of the connecting wires. And like here, I'm showing when you turn it on, the light has to come on there. You can see that actually there is a short or not. And here is the schematic that shows you how to make the whole assembly. As you can see, B plus to the um, B minus is also where everything has to connect to. So you have to use some sandpaper on these M3 bolts. Otherwise, you won't be able to solder anything on it. There is some kind of a coating on there. It won't allow you to solder anything on there. But yeah, when you sandpaper them, all these left and right sides, you can solder whatever wire you want to. I'm using copper wires, as you can see here. You solder them on this spot and that spot. 
and when they are soldered into the place make sure the connection is correct then the connection isn't loose at all because if those come loose it won't work and it might even damage your taser uh, in the whole assembly so other things i can talk about is step up module as i said has to connect to the type c connector on the b plus and the b minus also as well but as you guys have seen on the schematic it's all in a loop once the loop is connected you you can check that on momentary button light goes on and off so also make sure nothing is touching each other where it's not supposed to touch that's what the assembly looks like and it's a tight fit so once you assemble everything you can use some glue pen and also these are the wires that we have used electrical wires corresponding to all to the colors that on the schematic goes correspondingly and otherwise you might be confused after you have to reopen it for some adjustments or whatever here this is the upper bit that has to go onto the assembly and as i said it's a tight fit you have to fiddle around a little bit from the bottom and on the top as well but if you made everything on its right exact spot it should be really a uh, press fit and maybe a little bit help of a screwdriver pushed it in and then it goes in easily apply some pressure and has its fall and you press it in like this and then there will be a little bit of gap on both sides that's why we need the m3 bolts that i showed before you have to uh, well tighten it as much as you can don't overdo it because they will break because the brass insets are on their place but yes they're not that uh, hard in the place so you have to be careful when you tighten them up I'm going to tighten them up one by one. We have four of them. You have to find the correct screw head for it. Yes. So now I start with the top one and the other one and the other one. Like this is how it's supposed to be. I tightened them. And as you can see here on top, the copper bars come up and I turn it on and the light goes on on the momentary button. And that is really good. And we have to test it. Here you can see if the battery is a bit lower, you see that the light on the left and the right is different. The right one is fully charged. As you can see, the battery, well, the momentary bottom, the light indicator is brighter than on the left one. It's actually like a, a saying that the battery is empty or mediocre full. So we can turn them one by one on and both of them are working. The left one is the new one that we made. So anyways, guys. Thank you for watching this assembly video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye!